McDonald and the Campbell family had been feuding for years. The annual race between their prize horses was an exciting time for the citizens of Denver, especially those who liked to gamble. There's 200 more on Billy Bob. Any takers? to bring him on when he's ready. Listen, I'll see you get a fair start, Charlie, that takes all day. Martin, get back here and walk them horses up head to head. No more shenanigans out of you. Now get on back here, head to head, and walk them up. Don't let him get the ball, Johnny. Get him out of there on the fly, boy. Come on now. Head to head, I said. Come on. <laughs> wasting my time arguing with an old fool like you for. Smith's the judge. Well, uh, Smith, it looks like my horse sort of nosed him out, huh? Oh, don't let him pull the wool over your eyes. Billy Bob won, and he knows it. Besides, his boy fell off before he crossed the finish line. He did not. No, he didn't. He was shot on. I declare this race no contest. Both of you meet me over at the police station. I'll give you your money back. Take care of him, boy. That ain't the darnest horse race I ever had a hand in. Who you think won a Smitty? Nobody. Well, just because Campbell's jockey accidentally got shot. I don't think it was an accident. Oh? Pretty hard to prove, though. You nose around, see what you can find out. I'll catch up with you later. All right. I'll have your money for you in a minute. You know, the last time we raced, Campbell's boy fouled us and made a cripple out of my son Blanco for life. And still the judge gave the race to him. We won that race, Flora, and we won this one, too. Oh, uh, you didn't win it, Campbell. Your horse beat you by a nose. But the boy's fall could have slowed down Steel Dust. Anyway, I don't think a race should be won that way. Are you suggesting that I'm responsible? I'm not suggesting anything. But it'd be a pretty bad precedent to establish that all you have to do to win a horse race is shoot the other man's jockey, wouldn't it? I never ran a crooked race in my life, and I don't like you implying that me or my boys had a hand in that shooting. I'm not implying anything. But I will want to ask your boys some questions. So you tell them to stick around the ranch for the next couple of days. Oh, get out of my way. And if you know what's good for you, Smith, you'll stay off of my ranch. <laughs> The Campbell jockey was still alive. Had about a 50-50 chance, Doc said. This shooting had set the feud to boiling, and it looked like the Campbells and McDonald's might soon be after each other with the guns instead of horses. All right, take it easy, Prime. Any luck? Maybe. I think I found where the shots came from. What are you doing here, Prime? Your over-eager associate here can better answer that question. Now, just a minute, fella. This ain't a social gathering. We're investigating a shooting. Look, that kid was probably shot accidentally. Half the town was out there celebrating. Ah, but half the town didn't have all the money bet on that horse that you did. Where were you standing when the boy fell, Brian? 
He was standing by the saloon with his six-gun smoking in his hand. I was celebrating like everyone else. Ah, but like I said, everyone else didn't have all that money bet on that horse. <laughs> I don't think you guys like me. You sure he was standing in the street, George? Well, I got six witnesses to prove it. They saw him there. Then you better turn him loose. All right, Prime. Better luck next time. Yeah, thanks. What put the kibosh on me this time? I find me a suspect established as being right where the shot could come from, and you make me turn him loose. That's what cleared him, George. That shot didn't come from the street. It was fired from up above. I never thought of it. But he could have hired somebody to do it for him, huh? Yes, he could have. Prime or any other high-rolling gambler in Denver could be guilty. Get your hat, George. Why don't you help me prove something? <laughs> Yeah, the needle. Well, senor Smith. You watched the race yesterday? Oh, si, sí, senor. It was, como se dice, very exciting, no? It was very exciting, yes. It was tending the business. Que negocio. Everybody is watching the races. I see. You mind if I climb up in the loft and take a look around? Come on, no. Stand by, George. <laughs> Exact angle. Fight, George. You better be packing again, because whether you are or not, I'm going to kill you. That's about enough out of you. Come on. Well, what have I done? It was a fair fight. I should lock you up, but I won't this time. I'm going to take you and let your dad decide what should happen to a hot-tempered kid like you. Come to town packing a gun, drinking, threatening to shoot people. Go. Sure. Don't. What's so wrong about that? He threatened to shoot him on sight the next time he sees him. Yeah. Well, speaking of shooting, did you find out who shot my jockey? Not yet. Well, I think it was McDonald. Now, you expect me to tell my boys to turn tail and run every time they see one of them? You do as you please, Campbell. If there's any more trouble, you're going to have more than the McDonald's to contend with. It was beginning to look like there was no way I could keep this feud from turning into open warfare. I decided to go back to town and get George. There were still some questions I wanted to ask Flora McDonald. In her mood, I didn't feel up to tackling her alone. Run all night, going run all day. I bet my money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bay. See them run that half mile heat. Do da, do da. Once round track and then repeat, oh, do da day. I win my money on a bobtail neck, do da, do da. I keep my money in an old tote bag, oh, do da day. Well, I'm going to run all night, going to run all day. Bet my money on a bobtail neck, somebody bet on the bay. Well, the camp town ladies sing this song, do da, do da. Camp town race track five miles long. Oh, do da day. Well, I'm going run all night, going run all day. George! I thought you liked that song. I do, ordinarily. Right now, my enthusiasm for horse racing is just a little bit dim. All right, then, how about this one? Come along, boys, and I'll tell you. 
your tail about my troubles on the shizom trail. Come. Some other time, George. Right now, I want you to ride up to McDonald Ranch with me. Oh, that old lady's going to be on the prod. Yeah, I'm afraid she will. You think you'll be able to smoke her out and hold her off long enough for me to nose around the place a little while? Well, I can try. Maybe she's cooled off a little bit by now. Turn the old charm on, George. First thing you know, you have her eating out of the palm of your hand. Oh, yeah. All right. You hold that charm, I'll get it. I want to talk to you a little bit. Yeah. All right, then. Let's be quick about it. Hello, Glenville. Oh, hi there, Smith. I didn't hear you come in. Billy Bob pull up a little sore? No, Billy Bob's fine. What's on your mind, Smith? Just a routine check. Where were you during the race yesterday? Well, I was with Billy Bob most of the time. He gets nervous without me. I thought I saw you down to the finish line right after the race was over. Well, that's right. I was there when they finished. After I legged up Charlie and gave him his last minute instructions, I went out to see how it would come out. How long did it take you to walk down there, would you say? Oh, not more than two, three minutes. Of course, I don't get along too good no more. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. You got hurt riding in a race, didn't you? In an accident? Accident? That was no accident. Cabell's board deliberately run my horse into the fence, broke his leg, had to shoot him, left me like this. It was a real tough break. They claimed that boy couldn't hold that horse. The judge backed him. You can't get justice from the Campbells. Why, every single time we've had a run in the past, they've tried something crooked. But I tell you this, they ain't gonna steal a race from Billy Bob. There ain't a horse alive that can outrun him in a fair race. And the next time we run him, we'll prove that once and for all. We won that last race, but you didn't have gumption enough to call it right. You got a lot of gall coming here after robbing us the way you did. Mr. McDonald, doesn't it mean anything at all to you that a man was shot? Well, fire and brimstone, man. We didn't shoot him. Well, maybe you didn't, but... The next time that I race old Angus, you won't be judging. It doesn't make any difference who's judging. If you race the Campbells again, there's bound to be trouble. It's none of your dang business who I run my horse against. And I've had a belly full of you. Now you either get out of here or go for your gun. Make it fast, mister. We were just leaving anyway, weren't we, George? Could have been Glencoe, all right. We don't have a shred of evidence. You saw him at the starting line, and I saw him at the finish a few minutes later. But did you see him during the race? No, I didn't. It doesn't mean he wasn't there. I had my eyes glued on the horses. What's the old lady will swear she saw him there before the boy fell. She doesn't remember it that close. She's honest enough. Just prejudice. Well, if it was Glencoe, what would his reason be? Revenge? I don't think so, George. This wasn't the same jockey that rode against him the time he got hurt. Strange coincidence, though. Camel's jockey whipped Billy Bob across the face just before he was shot. Uh, Benko had reason enough, all right, to beat the enemy. Anyway, there was no love loss between those two families. Oh, it's funny how time changes people. Angus and Floyd used to be good friends a long time ago. Matter of fact, I hear he almost married her after his wife died. Well, I didn't know that. Then what started all the feuding? They started this business of matching races against each other. It started out as a little friendly get-together, but each race became more and more important. The only thing that mattered was who won. Both sides were too stubborn to admit they'd gotten out run honestly. They always end up in a bitter quarrel. Oh, I think we about reached the end of the line, George. The race before this, a man was crippled. This time, a jockey was shot. Race again, someone's sure to get killed. Thank you. 
Angus Campbell. Word's gotten around that you're accusing the McDonald's of shooting your jockey. Is that true? I'm not accusing anybody of anything. All I said, it seemed kind of funny that my man got shot just when he had your horse outrun. Outrun? Why, that beetle of yours never saw the day that he could start Billy Bob. When the rider was shot, Steel Dust was half a length in the lead. That's because he stole the break from that stupid detective that was starting him. Billy Bob ran away from that dog of yours at the finish. Maybe you'd like to try him again sometime. Well, any time you say. Let's put enough money on him next time to make it interesting. You're so doggone sure your horse can beat mine, you oughtn't to be afraid to gamble on it. Name the amount and I'll cover it. Well, we say, uh, 20,000? Well, uh, I'll need a little time. Yeah, yeah. You know, Flora, I didn't think you had the stomach for a good bet. You got a bet! Uh-oh. I know the signs. They're matching another horse race. Well, good. You meet me here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning with the money. We'll discuss terms and conditions then, if you show up. Oh, drat you, Angus Campbell. I'll be here. Yeah, and ready for battle, too, I'll bet. Well, Charlie, how did he go? He's sharp. We could run him any time. Oh, he sure could. Well, Billy Bob, you earned yourself a beta, hey? Charlie, better get that tack off, cool him out real fast, huh? Right. Good boy. You know I'm really worried about that race. Now, look, Ma, I told you, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, but that's a lot more money than we ever put up before. I'd hate to back down now. Now, but... look, Ma, even if you wanted to, you can't back down now. Yes, but we haven't got $20,000, and Angus knows that. Why, we'd be wiped out if anything went wrong. Now, look, you just get that out of your mind. Nothing's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Show up, Dad. Oh, that hard-headed old fool, she'll show up. She's probably having a hard time rounding up the money. Hey, there she comes now. Well, I thought you'd, uh, you'd used your head and decided not to show up. You know better than that. Well, did you get the money? Brought the deed to my ranch. Of course, my ranch is worth more than $20,000. But what matter? You haven't got a chance against Billy Bob. You're trying to welch out on me. Oh, uh, the bet's off. The bet's off unless you put up uh, all the livestock you got in your ranch. Why, Billy Bob can outrun the best horse that ever lived. I'll throw in the cattle. So put your money where your mouth is. All right. That's going to break you. You're a fool, Flora McDonald. You take that back. Drop that gun or you're a dead man. Nice friendly little gathering, isn't it? I do your way to match a horse race. Now, you mind your own business, Smith. We know what we're doing. I can see you do. Bragging about having the fastest horse in the world. You're just as bad about that horse of yours. Well, I could probably outrun both of you, either one of my work horses. How about Joe Queen over there? You local? Steel dust a racehorse. He's never been outrun. Because he's never come up against Joe Queen. Now look, will you run away? I had me a race match with her. Would have wiped her out. You mean made me twenty thousand dollars? All right. Go ahead and match the race. Let me run Joe Queen along with you. If I win the race, all bets are off. And you two will never match another horse with. It seems like a pretty silly idea to me. Silly, huh? What you mean is, you're both afraid to run against me. Neither one of you will admit that Billy Bob and Steel Dust are just a couple of ordinary horses. What's the difference? Let the fool in. He won't even see which way we went. And besides, we might get a fair start this time. Well, make no difference to me is <laughs> kills two birds with one stone. Puts him in his place and wipes you out, sure. Then it's agreed. But remember my conditions if I win. If you win. Smith, you haven't got the chance of a snowball in Hades. <laughs> no, no, How does it look, 
to you, George. Oh, looks good to me. Surprised that you entered him in this race, though, Smitty. Maybe you don't know all of his history, George. Besides, the only way I could figure to keep those hot heads from killing each other. Ask Miguel to cool him out for me, will you? Sure thing. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You did a good job on Billy Bob for this one. If the race is honest, we'll win. You think the Smith horse will cause us any trouble? Now, don't you worry about him. Just keep your eyes on Steel Dust and the jockey of Campbell's. Okay. Good luck, Charlie. Thank you. There you go. Looks like those darn fool Campbells and McDonald's are more anxious to start a fight than run a horse race. You bet your bottom dollar there'll be fireworks if I don't win this one. Hey, well, you got a good chance, ain't you? Fair, I'd say, George. Hey, Smitty, look. Follow him, George. Forget about the race. Don't let him out of your sight. Oh, but I want to watch the horses run, Smitty. Not this one. We'll run one another day, just for your benefit. sure broke Glencoe's spirit, huh? He seemed glad to confess. Yes, his life was all wrapped up in that horse. He just couldn't believe that Billy Bob could get outrun in a fair race. That's why I didn't take a shot at you. Claimed he was just there to see the race was honest. Sort of a self-appointed racing judge. Yeah. Handing out some real stiff penalties for crooked riding. What gets me, though, is how'd you ever get Joe Queen to run so fast? Didn't surprise me too much, George. He still holds a track record over in St. Louis. Well, I'll be. That's a neat trick you pulled on those folks then, Smitty. But how'd you ever fool old Flora and Angus? Any fool can plainly see that Joe Queen ought to fly. They never really looked at him, George. They were too busy trying to outrun each other. Hmm. That should hold him, Miguel. Stop his meal. For now, I think I Flying to run all night, Joe Queen will run all day. Florin and Angus and their bobtail nags, but we bet on the bay. Hey. 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 H